हॅलो एव्हरीवन माझे दिपाली सोनारे फायन इयर स्टुडंट ऑफ शिवाजीराव एस झोनले कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मसी टुडे आय एम गोईंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट पी सी ओ डी विथ माय कोऑर्डिनेट स्वप्नी अँड शिवानी अंडर द गायडन्स ऑफ गीता मोहिरे मॅम असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर लेट स्टार्ट विथ द टॉपिक लेट स्टार्ट विथ कंटेंट इंट्रोडक्शन हिस्ट्री ऑफ पी सी ओ डी कॉजेस ऑफ पी सी ओ डी आयडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ पी सी ओ डी हाव रिस्पॉन्सिबल आर वी टू पी सी ओ डी मोड ऑफ ॲक्शन्स कॉजेस दॅट कॉज पी सी ओ डी कलेक्टिवली कॉमन सिमटम्स टाईप्स ऑफ पी सी ओ डी मेजर प्रॉब्लेम अँड देअर अल्टरनेटिव्ह सोल्युशन्स नॅचरल वे टू इम्प्रूव्ह इन्सुलिन रेजिस्टन्स इन पी सी ओ डी मोस्ट इफेक्टिव्ह योगा फॉर पी सी ओ डी आयुर्वेदिक ट्रीटमेंट होमिओपॅथिक ट्रीटमेंट रिझल्ट अँड कन्क्लुजन इंट्रोडक्शन पॉलिसिस्टिक ओव्हरी डिसऑर्डर इज अ हायपर अँड्रोजेनिक डिसऑर्डर असोसिएटेड विथ क्रॉनिक ऑलजिओ अँड ओवॅल्युशन अँड पॉलिसिस्टिक ओवरियन मॉर्फोलॉजी मोस्ट विमेन विथ पी सी ओ डी आर ऑल्सो ओव्हरवेट और ऑप्सेस फर्दर एनहान्सिंग अँड्रोजन सिक्रेशन वाईल इम्पेअरिंग मेटाबोलिझम अँड रिप्रोडक्टिव्ह फंक्शन अँड पॉसिबली फेवरिंग द डेव्हलपमेंट ऑफ पी सी ओ डी फिनोटाईप द डेफिनेशन ऑफ पी सी ओ डी हॅज टू लीड अँड इम्प्रेसिव्ह इन्क्रीज ऑफ सायंटिफिक इंटरेस्ट इन दिस डिसऑर्डर विच शूड बी फर्दर डिरेक्टेड टू इम्प्रूव्ह इंडिव्हिज्युअलायझेशन क्लिनिकल अप्रोचेस अँड कॉन्सिक्वेंटली थेरॅपिटिक स्ट्रॅटर्जी पी सी ओ डी इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स कंडिशन कॅरेक्टराइज बाय इव्हॅल्युटेड अँड्रोजन लेवल्स मेन्शुअल इरेग्युलॅरिटीज अँड ऑर अ स्मॉल सिस्ट ऑन वन ऑर बोथ ओव्हर इज द प्रिव्हिलन्स ऑफ पी सी ओ डी हॅज इन्क्रीज विथ यूज ऑफ डिफरंट डायग्नॉस्टिक क्रायटेरिया अँड हॅज रिसेंटली बीन शोन टू बी एटीन पर्सेंट इन फर्स्ट कम्युनिटी बेस्ड Billion study based on current total dam diagnostic criteria. Let's see the history of PCOD. Steen and Leventhal are regarded to have the first investor of polycyst ovary syndrome. However, in 1721, Wilson Gia, an Italian scientist, crafted a married infertile woman with a shiny ovaries with a white surface and size of being on eggs. It was not until the early 1990 at the National Institute of Health sponsor a conference on PCOS that a formal diagnosis criteria were proposed that afterwards largely utilized. Many scientists tried to explain the pathophysiology of PCOS and many studies were made. It is now accepted that it is a multifactorial diagnosis. partially genetic however the number of candidates has been postulated insulin resistance has been noted consistently among any women with pcos especially in those hyperandrogenism but not included in any of diagnosis criteria in the next slide there is a causes of pcod in diagrammatic form here the causes of pcod pcod was first described in a modern medicine by steen and leventhal in 1935 in this book he wrote about seven women had a symptoms such as a menstrual cramp facial hair and swelling of testicles even before that hippocrates 377 bc to 160 bc wrote women whose menstruation is less than 3 days or irregular have strong pain smooth skin yet they are not afraid to go day by day and they do not go day by day this description written over 2000 years ago is similar to pcod in terms of menstrual irregularities male appearances shortness of day obesity etc the human body has evolved over the thousands of years 
in prehistorical times the human body developed the ability to store energy to cope with mine drought natural disasters and childbirth things like pcod help in a woman to survive in those days the pcod may have been to born to keep the distance between the two pregnancies the dangers of childbirth to prevalent death given the low age of previous pregnancies and a lot of physical exertion low rate of obesity the incidence of day passing among the women with pcod will be higher than today severity of pcod symptoms has been exerted by recent diets secondary lifestyle and constant stress identification of pcod pcod is a common disease in a young girl and women in the last 10 years disease has spread like a plague in india many women have no idea that they have this disease often the disease is diagnosed by going to a doctor for different problems about 15 to 20% of women in india suffer from this disease this means that at least one in four or five women around you they have the disease the rate is even higher in big cities about 70% of women with the disease have difficulty in conceiving pcod is a set of symptoms if some symptoms are found together it is called a symptom set regular menstruation infertility wanted facial hair growth pimples weight gain hair loss on scalp and many other symptoms are found in pcod although the exact cause of pcod is not yet known any expert agree that the disease is related to so called modern lifestyle pcod is often found in women in many close relationship in the family if your mother aunt elder sister has this disease you are more likely to become a king it is a thought to have caused the chromosome defect let's see how responsible are we to pcod it's not all your fault some of defects are due to our chromosome some of defects are due to chemical elements and environment around us but there are definitely some faults this is is more prevalent in cities than in village it is more common in educated women than uneducated women it is more common in working women and housewives than in hard working women this means that women should immediately blame women for their careers just as a man a more prone to heart disease high blood pressure and diabetes than women due to poor lifestyle and stress so to are the effects of extra stress and so called modern lifestyle in women in the form of disease like pcod pcod and another lifestyle related to elements are cured by the called modern lifestyle that entangle us in a cycle of chauvinism this is the cure we have given our sleeve now mode of actions gonadotropin releasing hormone is a primary regulation of mammalian reproductive function in both males and females it acts via g protein couple receptor on endotrophs to stimulate synthesis and secretion of gonadotropin hormone luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone the two principal endotropins in vertebrates are lh and follicle stimulating hormones although primate produce a third gonadotropin called chronic gonadotropin lh and fsh are are heterodimers consisting of two peptide chains an alpha chain and a beta chain also called gnrh lhrh lhrh and luteinizing hormone releasing hormone causes that cause pcod collectively 
are as follows wrong lifestyle having a history of pcod and family chromosomal defect some chemicals in environmental stress what exactly is a wrong with a lifestyle that causes pcod let's see common symptom of pcos pcos is a very common in recent days and affect many women while these symptoms can be real. some women do not even face any of symptom thus it may go undiagnosed the symptoms of pcos can get worse if one is overweight or obsess here are some symptoms of pcos that you can notice irregular periods or no periods at all excessive pain during periods accompanied with heavy flow excess male hormone or androgen that cause hysterism that that is growth of hair on the face back chest oily skin and breakout like acne tightening of hair or hair loss resulting in male pattern blindness excessive weight gain difficulty in conceiving pain in pelvic area anxiety and depression types of pcos there are four types of pcos insulin resistant pcos inflammatory pcos hidden cause pcos pill induced pcos let's see major problem and their alternative solutions first is irregular periods lack of ovulation prevent the uterine lining from shedding every month some women with pcos get fever than 8 periods a year Uh, a solution medicines are available to treat insulin resistance and balance hormone to correct menstrual cycle usually pcos is treated aggressively for patient who willing to conceive adolescent patient are treated with hormone 8 and metformin to regulate the periods and insulin resistance infertility to get pregnant you have to ovulate the women who do not ovulate regularly do not release so many egg to be fertilized pcos is one of the leading causes of infertility in women solution with treatment most women with pcos are able to get pregnant the majority of women can be successfully treated with a short course of tablets taken at the beginning of each cycle for several cycles if these are not successful you may be offer injection or ivf treatment there is an increase a risk of multiple pregnancy with these treatments a medicine called clomiphene is usually the first treatment recommend, recommended for women with pcos who are trying to get pregnant clomiphene is encourages the monthly release of egg from the ovaries if the clomiphene is unsuccessful in encouraging ovulation another medicine called as metformin may be recommended heavy bleeding the uterine lining builds up for a longer period of time so the periods you do get can be heavier than normal hair growth more than 70% of women with this condition grow hair on their face and body including on their back belly chest and excess hair growth is called as hysterosism solution screen treatment are available for hair growth next acne male hormones can be make the skin oilier than usual and co- cause breakout on areas like face chest and upper back solution screen treatment are available for acne pigmentation next is weight gain up to 80% of women with pcos are overweight or obsess both obesity and pcos increase your risk of high blood sugar high blood pressure low hdl cholesterol and high ldl cholesterol together this factor are called as metabolic syndrome and they are increase the risk of heart disease diabetes and stroke 
PCOS make it more difficult for a body to use hormone insulin which normally helps to convert sugar and starches from food into energy this condition called insulin resistance can cause insulin and sugar glucose to build up the blood blood stream here the natural ways to improve insulin resistance in pcod most effective yoga poses for pcod first is a bridge pose or setu bandha sarvangasana these yoga asanas for pcod helps in regulating thyroid function which is crucially linked to pcod it relaxes and activates the organs in the abdominal region thus relieving the symptoms of menopause steps to perform the bridge pose first is lay down on your back and fold your knees making a right angle between your feet and hips keep your palms facing downwards and place your hands beside your body lift your lower back mid back and upper back of the floor one at a time roll your shoulders back and pull your chest up to the chin keep breathing and hold the pose for 1 to 2 minutes and the quick tips are for optimal results do this on an empty stomach this can be done during pregnancy also second is sun salutation or surya namaskar surya namaskar is listed under the best yoga poses for pcod weight loss waist and hip fat shedding and menstrual cycle regulation can be facilitated by performing the sun salutation yoga pose every day steps to perform surya namaskar yoga pose first stand straight keeping your feet together and distributing your weight evenly between both feet relax your shoulders and expand your chest lift both arms from the sides as you inhale then bring your hands together in front of your chest in a prayer position as you exhale breathe in and stretch your entire body from heels to the tips of your fingers breathe out and bend forwards to touch your toes keeping the spine straight push your right leg backwards and keep it straight look straight get in the push up position and hold for 1 to 2 seconds get in the bhujangasan that is cobra pose position continue breathing in and out as you perform this yoga now get back to standing straight and touch your feet the quick tips are do not rush the process take your time and take multiple 2 seconds breaks if needed cobra pose or bhujangasan Cobra pose helps in making the body flexible and relieves stress. This pose is widely included in the list of yoga for PCOD problems. Steps to perform Cobra pose: Lay straight on the floor. Keep your elbows close to your body with palms facing down. As you inhale, start straightening your arms to elevate your chest off the floor and try to recline backwards as much as you can. your navel should be in contact with the ground hold this position for 15 to 30 seconds before exhaling slowly and descending their quick tips are start with half and work your way up because you might not be able to execute the entire cobra stance at once boat pose or naukasana Naukasana is a yoga practice that focuses on the abdominal muscles and organs. It is also known to control thyroid function. Steps to perform boat pose: Lay straight on the floor. Keep your arms straight alongside your body with palms facing down. As you inhale, start elevating your arms and legs to make a boat-like shape. Hold this position for 15 to 30 seconds before exhaling slowly and descending. quick tips are start with a half and work your way up because you might not be able to execute the entire boat pose at once breathing exercise or kapalbhati pranayam this one is primarily a breathing technique that focuses on reducing oxidative stress improving blood circulation in the body and balancing glandular output it aids weight reduction by influencing the pancreas in a good way 
this is why it is the one of the most effective pcod exercise steps to perform breathing yoga exercise first close your eyes and sit in padmasana with your hands resting on your knees slowly inhale through the left nostril after blocking your right nostril with your right thumb exhale after gradually removing your thumb from your right nostril block your left nostril with your middle finger while exhaling then inhale through your right nose repeat this practice for 15 minutes maintain your attention on your breathing their quick tips are for an optimal impact do this on an empty stomach this should not be done during pregnancy corps pose or savasana this particular yoga for pcos might help you de stress stress being one of the primary causes of pcod savasana or corps posture can help you calm your mind and keep your cortisol levels in balance steps to perform corps pose lie down on your back flat place both hands palms facing up on either side of your body close your eyes and remain completely motionless breathe gently and deeply through your nose as much as possible concentrate on your breathing and clear your mind for at least 15 minutes try to stay in that posture and the quick tips are perform this yoga asana for pcod every day for at least 15 minutes reclining butterfly pose or supta badha konasana reclining butterfly pose is a modification of the basic butterfly pose it is one of the best yoga asanas that emphasize calming the mind body and spirit while opening up the pelvic region steps to perform reclining butterfly pose try to relax by lying down on your back in a butterfly posture pull your legs close together hold your feet together with your hands and draw them as close to your torso as possible hold this posture for 5 minutes and then take a break for 5 minutes repeat and relax and the quick tips are to assist maintain your posture during the asana place a pillow beneath your hip next is child pose or balasana balasana is an excellent asana for straightening the hips this asana joins our list of yoga asanas for pcod because it helps the body return to its natural position after being stretched and lengthened in the other asanas utkatasana or chair pose steps to perform utkatasana or chair pose first stand straight with your feet slightly apart from each other second extend your hands in front of you with your palms facing downwards without bending your elbows bend your knees and push your pelvis down as if you are sitting on an imaginary chair move your hand overhead in a way that your fingertips point to the ceilings lengthen your spine look front and try to relax in this position pause for a while and inhale and exhale in the position in pcod disease some ayurvedic drugs are used first one is shatavari or asparagus racemos this ayurvedic remedy helps mainly in promoting the normal development of ovarian follicles it also regulates periods and aids in revitalizing the female reproductive system ayurvedic medicine shatavari also helps in controlling high levels of insulin due to pcos due to its phytoestrogen or a natural plant based estrogen levels second one is guduchi in ayurvedic treatment for pcod problem guduchi is a powerful anti inflammatory ayurvedic herb we know that chronic inflammation in a body tissue is the root cause of insulin imbalance and ovarian cyst in women this ayurvedic herbs help in revitalizing body tissue and lowering insulin resistance shatapushpa or fennel fennel seeds are used as a supplement as the phytoestrogen in them bring down inflammation and control insulin resistance next one is trifala effective ayurvedic medicine for a pcod problem is trifala which is rich in vitamin c a powerful and natural antioxidant that helps in reducing inflammation by reducing free radicals 
Hence, this remedy is excellent for cleansing and detoxifying system and is therefore best taken prior to taking any other Ayurvedic medicine to improve outcome. Aloe Vera Kumari Aloe Barbadensis Aloe Vera is yet another Ayurvedic herb that is extremely beneficial in treating PCOS as it helps in regularizing menstrual cycles and promote normal menstruation. It also normalizes hormonal imbalance. Get advice from top Ayurvedic practitioner on polycystic ovarian syndrome, Ayurvedic treatment, frequency and dosage of medications based on the symptoms of your medical history. Some homeopathic drugs which are used in PCOD, clomiphene, also known as clomiphene, is a medication used to treat infertility in women who do not ovulate, including those with polycystic ovary syndrome. Use results in a greater chance of twins. It is taken by mouth once a day with a course of treatment that usually lasts for 5 days. Molar mass 405.966 gram per mole. CSID 91145-5. Other names Clomiphene, Chloramiphene, Chloramphene, MRL 41, MRL oblique 41, NSC 35770. Metabolism occur in liver. Then ATC code is G03, GB02, WHO and bioavailability is high. Most clomiphene metabolism occurs in the liver where it undergoes enterohepatic recirculation. Clomiphene and its metabolites are excreted primarily through feces 42% and excretion can occur up to 6 weeks after discontinuation. Metabolism occurs in liver with enterohepatic circulation. Also, excretion in mainly feces and in some urine. Other names are clomiphene, chloramiphene. Here the structure of clomiphene. Next one is eflorinthin. Eflorinthin sold under the brand name of Vanica. It is a medication used to treat African trypanosomiasis and excessive hair growth on the face in a woman. Specifically, it is used for the second stage of sleeping sickness caused by TB, gambinase, and may be used with nifertimox. Metabolism it is not metabolized. Other name is alpha difluoro methyl ornithin or DFMO. ATC code D11AX16 by WHO. P01CX03 by WHO. Elimination half life 8 hours. Next one is mechanism of action of drugs. A florentin is a medication used topically to reduce unwanted facial growth in women. The postulated mechanism of action through irreversible inhibition of orinthin decarboxylase ODC in the skin. Eflorinthin is a prescription drug indicated in the treatment of facial erotism, excessive hair growth, the molecule formula is C15, S25, F2, N5, O5, synonyms DFMO and DDC. The IUPAC name alpha difluoromethyl orinthin and 2,3 dioxy cited in 4 amino 1, 2 R 5 S 5 hydroxymethyl tetrahydrofuran 2 YL pyrimidine 2 1 2 5 diamino 2 difluoromethyl pentanoic acid molecular weight is 393.39 as tablet tens is a combination of four drugs namely chromium picolinate D chiro Inositol Myo. Normous tablet tens is used to prevent and treat polycystic ovarian syndrome PCOS. It is also helps to correct the hormonal imbalance and menstrual cycle to achieve ovulation. Chromium picolinate and helps in controlling blood sugar levels and reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Mechanism of action of drug. Normous DS tablets work by decreasing serum testosterone and increases insulin sensitivity simultaneously provides body with folate and increases absorption of phosphorus and calcium from food required for strong bones normal ds tablet is a nutritional supplement rich in essential vitamins it essentially is useful to treat chromium deficiency and aids in controlling blood sugar in a people with diabetes these tablets are very useful in lowering cholesterol and are used as a weight loss supplement. Results PCOS can cause miss or irregular menstrual periods, excess hair growth, acne, infertility, and weight gain. 
women with a PCOS may be at a higher risk for a type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, heart problems, and endometrial cancer. Common symptoms of PCOS PCOS is a very common in recent days and affect many women. While these symptoms can be treated, some women do not even face any of the symptoms. Thus, it may go undiagnosed. The symptoms of PCOS can get worse if one is overweight or obese. Here are some symptoms of PCOS that you can notice. Irregular periods or no periods at all. Excessive pain during periods accompanied with heavy flow. Excess male hormones or androgen that can cause hirudism that is growth of hair on the face, back, chest or buttock. Oily skin and breakouts like acne. Thinning of hair or hair loss resulting in a male pattern blindness. Excessive weight gain. Difficulty in conceiving. Pain in the pelvic area. Anxiety and depression. Conclusion The present review mainly focuses on a study on prevalence and a knowledge of a polycystic ovary disease among problems and solutions. Also, the review spotlights and the introduction, identification, irregular menstruation, infertility, unwanted facial hair growth, pimples, weight gain, hair loss on the scalp, and many other symptoms are found in PCOD. Insulin resistance also appears to increase the risk of glucose intolerance, type 2 diabetes and lipid abnormalities. Treatment of this disorder should focus on reduction of androgen associated symptoms, the protection of the endometrium and the reduction of the long term risk of diabetes and the cardiovascular complications. For many women with the syndromes, improving infertility is a primary goal of therapy. Nurse midwives can assess the manage many of the presenting complaints and lifestyle issues such as a menstrual disorder. The signs and symptoms of PCOD are increasing, but females were not aware of a PCOD, although its signs and symptoms were present in many of them. So females should consult gynecologists at least once in a year for their better health status. We are thankful to our president, Dr. Shivaji Rao S. Jontri Sir, Honorable Secretary Dr. Gita Khare Ma'am, Honorable Principal Dr. Nitin Mohire Sir for encouragement and guidance. Also, efficient use of social media to spread a knowledge and making such an informative video. For a more informative video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.